I'm three on your sides, Gary Harper. You know, when COVID-19 hit, many tech companies temporarily lifted their data cap usage, meaning you could basically use as much data as you wanted without being charged any extra for that use. But that is now changing. Due to COVID-19, countless numbers of people continue to use the internet and work from home. Yeah, so I mean, I, I think everybody's figured out that the, they rely on the internet way more than they used to. With so many people streaming and gobbling up more data than pre-COVID-19, major companies agreed to temporarily lift what's known as a data cap, the amount of data that you could use before having to pay more. But that expiration period for some unlimited data just expired, and many consumers may not know it. That could be risky if your family is constantly streaming content, using the internet, or downloading music. You gotta think of it like water pressure. Like how many different spigots are you gonna have turned on? How big are the spigots? And kind of plan accordingly. So Ken internet. Colburn is a Valley Tech uh, expert with Data Doctors and, and says you may have to remind yourself of how much data you use now. For example, Cox Communications says it recently re-implemented its data cap, but increased it to 1.2 terabytes. Now, for that amount of data, Cox says you can stream 400 hours of movies, post 250,000 pictures on social media, listen to 250,000 songs, and video chat for 1,000 hours with friends and family. That sounds like a lot of content, and Cox says it's way more than households need. But Colburn says depending on your situation, you could still go over. If you're in a house with a, you know, a bunch of roommates, you know, six, seven, eight roommates, and all of them are really heavy data users, it's certainly feasible that, that you could eat that up. If you're a CenturyLink user, there's some good news. A company spokesman tells Three Your Side that they just extended their cap deadline, saying, quote, we are eliminating data caps for residential and small business customers through August 1st. But Colburn says consumers still need to monitor how much data they use so they don't get too accustomed to unlimited use down the road. If you use more, you pay more. That's just you know, that's the reality of where we're headed. So getting into uh, good practices now probably could really pay off for the long run for you. And by the way, many major cell phone companies are also going back to pre-COVID usage. So check with your cell phone provider to make sure you are staying on top of things. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.